Hey everyone, it's me Anthony. I'm back with another video for Tony Anima Project. I know it's been a while since I recorded the last video for I don't know a year and a half in between <laughs> at least I could say about it. We're now on January 30, um, 2022. Hoping for the thing, things start to normalize after uh, during this pandemic situation then these days i'm i'm back at work after a good time and in the in the end of 2021 in december then i got ill and after some symptoms of flu it caught my throat, then my head, my nose. I performed the COVID test. Unfortunately, it test positive, but at the x-ray and the blood exam, it showed no signs of the COVID, which for one thing, it's good, but I have to stay at home to take the medicines and treat myself until I and to receive to receive the green light to go back at work at least I could say about it and, and fortunately I'm doing well I'm fully recovered my family is also is also well recovered well that second way of flu slash covid took us in surprise <laughs> at least the symptoms weren't so bad compared to the first first days of the pandemic in 2020 hope for the things to start to normalize and but for the main in the meantime we have to wait until until we find a way to to get ourselves protected and from this from the COVID nineteen and and any other flu viruses. Enough of that. Let's go to the important thing for this video. I tried to record. I record a last video for for the channel, but. When I was about to to make it on hit films, the the recorded video with the from with by OBS Studio got a black image, which it took me in surprise, and I have to re to remake the video to record it again. For also, I hope to to make it a little a bit shorter compared to the last one the, the focus on that video was to show some of my projects I've been working on Blender with with some related to my World War II planes and some with World War II vehicles like the, the Kubelwagen the famous German vehicle used to transport troops and some equipment which was based on the original Volkswagen Kifa or the Beetle in Ger from German to English and also the M3A1 half track from the American US Army and the Germans Panzer 1 and Panzer 6 aka Tiger 1 the famous German heavy tank built in World War II um, also, I made some projects not related to World War II, like one I made of a a bakery slash cafe, <laughs> which I was working a midterm project along a pool I was working for a, for a long time with the help of my brother, and basically what I did in related to World War II plane isn't it I was working I started by the Lockheed P-38 Lightning then I started then I moved to the German BF-109 
of the A-series, which I started making a, a time-lapse series for YouTube channel. Then I started working with while with these two planes was in development, were in development. I started with with other World War II planes like the North American P-51 Mustang of the D series, precisely the P-51 D-15 model of the D series of the Mustang, which different from the original D-5, it has a modified tail fin to well, I don't have a proper knowledge in a, in air in airplanes engineering and physics and air performances other aspects, which can increase which the the tail fin modified from the D five and the D fifteen and D twenty five series has a different performance when when compare the tail fin of the aft sections of the fuselage. Also, I started the Supermarine Spitfire of the Mark 9 series, then I started making the, the Mark 1, then I started other projects like the the B-17 Flying Fortress, the the Focus with FW 190 a8 of the Anton series, the A8 model. Then I started the other planes like the Acer ME262, the Schwalbe model. Schwalbe means swallow in from German to English. The fighter version, the A1A model of the ME262. Then I also started the other planes like the Heiko HE111, the Ilyushin IL-2 Sturmovik or in Russian IL-2, then the Italian planes like the Maki C202 for Gori, then Maki C205 Veltro, then Mitsubishi A6M0, the a6M2 model 22, the the most most known model of the the A6M0, the Japanese fighter of World War built in World War II, the famous one built and popularly known in most of the movies like Pearl Harbor, Midway, and some other movies. Then also I started making the P-40 Warhawk, the end module, the P-47 Thunderbolt of the Thief, the RE-28 or 25 model, starting with the Brazilian markings, because during World War II, the, the, during the Italian camping, the Brazilian Air Force, the Brazilian Air Force, were equipped with P-47 Thunderbolts to to launch ground attack missions over German railroads, German convoys, and some other important bases to disrupt uh, supply transports on the German main bases in Germany to Italy. Also, I started working with the I made the Ju-50. 87 Stuka, famous German dive bomber. And what else? I think these were the planes I started. During the series when I was working on the BF 109, I received some comments of some people requesting me of a of making a an Avro Lancaster, the famous British four engine bomber. That that caused certain serious damages during in Germany during the the night raid bombers, which some historians and some people known the Avro Lancasters transport the famous bouncing bombers to to disrupt German water supplies and then 
electrical 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 power grid by destroying their their dams and the famous grand slam the non nuclear bombs that was that were used to destroy concrete based installations especially bunkers u boats shipyards and other installations I plan to make the the Ever Lancaster series. However, I'm not sure and when I plan to make it because of my job at the health at the health center, at the public health center from where I live. I I'm not sure. I plan to how I'm going to continue. How they're going to expand my expand my I have my time, my contract time at the at the clinic, because I returned after some situations that I have to to resolve, but I'm not sure if they plan to to expand it or I have to wait to be to be officially to be called to be effective to work there. And also, I'm still studying. I still have the university to attend. I, I'm, I'm be going to back in February. And what else? And also, I have to go back to my studies for another civil service exam. But I have to wait until some things to normalize. There's one in civil service exam that called my attention, but they had they changed the the subscriptions date, which I'm st still waiting to when they're going to reopen it. But I'm not sure if the the new the new cases will will reascend or they will reload according to to the situations we are facing on with this pandemic i'm not sure if will this will in fact that will affect the the other civil service exams i'm not sure but let's hope for the best if nothing changes if they are not going to to cancel or to postpone and any other subscriptions for any civil service exams that were opening in this month or for the next month or for the next one all right i plan to make another one what related to my other projects but i plan to make this one first because the idea for this video is to make this one a little shorter compared to the the first one I started. Uh, excuse me. Sorry for that. And I'm not sure what projects I plan to to show you here in my channel. There's some I was working my midterm in my midterm projects with two of them related to 3d characters the uh, the original idea was to try to make a human character before i was before i moved to priscilla from claymore in case you're familiar the the project i was working of of priscilla from claymore they were the first projects i started related to human characters and anime related to my YouTube channel. At first I uploaded to my Google Photos, uh, the Photos now, uh, the Google Plus. But then after the announcement of the shutting down that platform, I moved to YouTube and my blogspot, also to my other social medias like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and ArtStation. Uh, I also have art station. I started, I started for a while, but I'm kind of slow to update new things there. But I plan to to start uh, to resume my activities there. 
Any plans in the 2022? Probably I plan to, to continue my attention on reworking some things on my original projects to, fit, to make some corrections and probably start making some animations. I had one I started with DBF109 and the Spitfire, but I have to remake it because of some issues that related to camera and some and some things like the background, the the scene in the ground and the planes itself. Well, that's it for well, I hope that's it for now, my friends. Now I plan to show more content here. Also, I plan to continue working on the the projects I was working on Unity, like the one based on War Thunder and Idle to Storm of the Great Battles and Battle of Bold and Plot and Battle of Stalingrad, and the one based on Call of Duty Zombies and the Left 4 Dead, like the first part shooter with the zombies made in Minecraft style. And the World War II weapons like the German STG 44, the M1 Garand, the Thompson, and the, the PPS H41 or Papa Shah 41 in Russian, or simply Papa Shah Sorek Adin in Russian, Papa Shah. And what else? The German MP40 and the and the car 98 and also the Colt M1911. But in speaking of that, I and I append imported the the M1911 and the car 98 models to Unity. They're looking good so far, now, but I have to redo some things related to animation and other things. Well, that's it for now, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please thumbs up. And if you really enjoy this video, please add it to your play to your favorite playlists. It will help me a lot, and share it to your friends in your social medias. It will help me to spread my work abroad the world. And if you're new to the channel, please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell button to receive the notifications. Now they now that they remove the dislike count, uh, counting system uh, I would like to ask what things that could make this video a little better or for the next ones it will help me a lot to share your thoughts to share your comments about some things that I missed or I made it uh, not quite wrongly but some things out of the edge or something like that but and any comments help because it helps it helps me a lot it teach me uh, it, it teach me a lot to improve my projects and other things well that's it for now i hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back with a new video when i can see you next time and take care